Hey guys, Erwin Tech here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Jelly Drift on your Chromebook. If you don't already know what Jelly Drift is, it's a game made by a fellow YouTuber named Danny. I'll have his channel linked in the description below as always if you want to go check him out. Anyways, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those post notifications so you get notified whenever I upload brand new videos to my channel. If you want to support me and my channel even more, you can buy my memberships they are linked in the description below as always or you can hit that little join button right next to the subscribe button and gain access to monthly perks such as gifts emojis badges next to your name in live streams and comments you can also get a secret members only discord and secret members only live streams that i host once a week for members only i'm not going to waste any more of you guys Alrighty guys, so before we start this tutorial, you will need Linux mode enabled. I have a link to a video in the description below that will be showcasing how to use Linux mode on your Chromebook. But a brief summary of it is just click the menu, type settings right here, hit enter. Then go down to Linux beta, turn that on. But if you want more into detail, just go to the video linked in the description below. After you have Linux mode enabled, go to this website, which will be linked in the description below as always. Then what you want to do is scroll down to the download section and go to jellydriftlinux.zip. Click download on that and wait for it to be downloading. Hit the X right here, and then once it's done downloading, hit Show in Folder. So after that, once you finally get your Files app open, take the Jelly Drift Linux.zip, drag it into your Linux files, let go, go to your Linux files, and then wait for it to be done copying into your Linux files. It shows you the status update in the bottom right-hand corner of your Files app. So just wait for that to be done. It shouldn't take too long. Alrighty guys, so it's done copying into my Linux files. After that, you can close the files app, then go to my Google Doc, which will be linked in the description below as always. Then what you want to do is hit the menu key, type terminal, click on that right there. Then what you want to do is highlight the first command, highlight it, right click, click copy, go back to the terminal, right click, hit enter, wait for it to unzip all of those files. Then what you want to do after that, highlight the second one, in all of its entirety, right click, copy, go back to your terminal, right click, hit enter, it should do nothing just like that. Then make sure you highlight the number three command in all of its entirety because it is case sensitive. So right click, click copy, go back to the terminal, right click, hit enter, and Jelly Drift should open up on your device. So just give it a minute. Like I just said, Chromebooks aren't fast, just like I said in my last video. But once it does load up, it should look just like this. It may glitch out a bit, but you just hit play. You can choose different options by using the arrow keys. I just hit enter on the option you want to use. I'm going to go to race, click on that option, hit enter, and then it's going to load up. Enter easy mode, hit next, you can choose your car, whatever car you want that Danny has designed, and then you start racing. It may be a little laggy, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty fun to play. Just like Danny said, the controls are super funky and you have to get used to them. Once you're done playing the game, you can just hit the menu key and then close out of it just like that, because it may be lagging up your Chromebook or something like that. You can quit it, then do the number four command, highlight it, right click, click copy, go back to your terminal, right click, hit enter, then hit Y, then hit enter. But since I already have it installed, I don't need to do that. Then do the number five command once it's done installing, copy, go back to the terminal, right click, hit enter, and the app will open up. Then you wanna select games, hit the plus up here, then go to add launcher, type jelly drift. Then go to the command, hit that file logo, go to home and type Jelly Drift. Go search that up right there. Jelly Drift Linux x86 under 64. Select that. Hit OK. Hit this little save launcher button up here. Click that. And then hit the X up here to close it out. Close the terminal out. Hit the menu key. Go up to find your Linux apps. Go in here. Jelly Drift will be right there. So you can click on it and play it. But just like I said in my last video, it's like a car engine. You have to click it another time for it to actually load up. And then it will finally open up. And you can enjoy Jelly Drift on your Chromebook. Now, enjoy playing. 
Thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those post notifications so you get notified whenever I upload brand new videos to my channel. If you want to support me and my channel even more, you can buy my memberships. They are linked in the description below as always, or you can hit that little join button right next to the subscribe button and gain access to loads of monthly perks that were listed in the beginning of the video. Also, another perk to subscribing to my channel is you can comment down below, I subscribed, and I'll give you shout out in my next video so here are those people who commented down below i subscribed go subscribe to their channel search them up on youtube and show them some support that's all for now and i'll see you all next time bye